next week. That's all I've got. Then the farm vanishes and so does that earring. Really? Well, if you can't manage the whole week, maybe just a day or two. No, it has to be now. They start tearing the farm apart next week. I'm sure. I'm sat right outside it now. I can see the sign. No, I already tried Claire. She's away partying at a festival. Jen's in Hong Kong on business. No, you weren't the last. I just thought, you know, with, with the kids and everything. Of course not. Look, oh, I'm sorry, Sally. Forget I asked. <laughs> Jake's gone away. And I just thought we could get the old gang back together. You know, for a bit of fun. Like the old days. Oi, detecting is fun. Look, don't worry about it. I've... I've actually been thinking of asking Adam if he'd help. Yes, that Adam. Don't say it like that. You lot just never understood him. And, well, he's never let me down. Jake isn't here, is he? Besides, Adam's a friend. Nothing else. And despite what you all think, he is good for me. I don't need to ask anyone else for help. Trust me, I need Adam. I shouldn't have called, not at this hour. I ignore me, speak soon, yeah? <sighs> hey, Adam. It's me. Oh, look, I know it's been years, but I've got myself into a situation. I don't think I can handle it. Not on my own. That unfinished business at the farm? We need to finish it. Now. Okay. Adam? Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Where are you? Don't worry, I'm close by. God, you weren't kidding about getting an early start. I was hoping we might have a lazy start to the week. Grab breakfast, mooch around, get reacquainted. But no. There'll be plenty of time to do that while we detect. Good to know these things are still working. They are, which is a surprise considering how cheap and nasty they look. Oi! These were the coolest toys money could buy in 2005. Haven't we grown out of toys? Oh, chill out. They'll do the job. Claire and I once chatted all the way across the valley with him. Grab the shovel and the trowel, then head out to the fields. Hurry up. You're missing a beautiful day. Thank you so much for joining me as Game Edge. We're jumping through the magnificent Truffle Pigs. That's right. This is a metal detecting game with a storyline to it, which is very, very cool. We're going to try and find some treasure and such. And thank you to the dev team to send a copy to the PR team. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very excited to jump in and test this out. I do love... Oh, that's a very nice shovel. We'll take it. We'll take it. Uh, I guess we'll get the trial too. Why not at this point? Uh, but yeah, again, if you guys are enjoying seeing brand new games, make sure you like button, get a coffee. It's always appreciate, of course, uh, your feedback. And this one looks very, very cool. The name is kind of odd, but there's a reason for it, supposedly. So we're going to learn as we progress with the story. Uh, but yeah, all right. I know what truffle pigs are. They do hunt out. Wow, that's super bright. Oh, isn't it amazing up here? Yeah, it's incredible. These views are incredible. I'm so glad you're here, Adam. Still can't quite believe it. A whole week with no distractions. <laughs> Heck is she? Why does she come by and say hi to me? Your detector's over by the gatepost. Right by the fields, you'll be scouring first. Okay, let's get that detector. Let's get rolling on this. There it is. Grab. Very nice. We've got it. Just switch it on and walk around. As soon as you get close to anything metal, it'll beep like crazy and light up. Ooh, I like that. I think uh, I get it. I'll tell you more. That's it. Oh, okay. I just walk Oops. around swinging this thing about. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Nice. You could probably train a monkey to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe 
I just did. Oh. Touche. Oh, we're gonna have fun this week. Now, serious for a second. I usually work in straight lines rather than randomly walking around. It's easier that way. Okay, you're the boss. For once, I'm not the boss. Now, let's see what you can find. Okay, so press E to turn it on and press space to continue, okay? Alright, it's on. I guess running is not a good thing with this. We'll try and get to ourselves through here. We're going to find out a whole bunch of treasure. So we're trying to find out earrings for this weekend. Kind of interesting. Look at that. Nice and slow. Beep. Beep. Nothing happening. Oh. Is it progressing now? There's something there on the ground. It might just... Oh. Right there. You found something. It's underground, so you'll need to dig it up. Awesome. And E to dig. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? And Q to dig. Interesting. What do we have? What do we have? A coin! A nice little coin. Now take a photo? Okay, we can rotate it. And now we're going to take a photo. I guess send it off to her. There we go. Oh, there we go. I think that's the best. My first find. And it's money. Beth? Oh, wow. Good work. Please send me a photo. I did send you a photo. There you go. Hey, a penny's a great first find. But we'll find something way more impressive before this week's out. Okay. You sure about that? You scoured this place as a kid. Not much has happened here since. We could go anywhere. But you insist on staying here and standing. I don't get it. Come on, you know why. That earring, the best thing I ever found. The other one is definitely here, and I want to find it. That earring? You can't be sure the other one's here. It is. Always has been. Don't care what anyone else says. Last time, it wasn't just a lucky find, you know. You're not going to drop it, are you? This obsession of yours. <laughs> that earring changed my life. Okay, I was only a kid, but it changed everything. Still makes me smile thinking about it. The money seemed like a lottery win back then. Hmm. And being in the papers, being the centre of attention, it was nice. You, we could have done this years ago. Why now? I asked Farmer Hobbs so many times, but he always said no. Maybe he thought he could find the other earring for himself. But not this time. Well, he couldn't really, could he? Not now that he's dead. Just when you were starting to think the day would never come, he goes and dies. Surprised you didn't help him on his way. Oi! No! <laughs> it wasn't like that. He passed away. His hair's sold up. And next week, they start installing a solar farm. So this is it. The last chance for more fame and fortune. It's the last chance to find that earring. I don't care about the money or being in the news again. No, I just want to... Oh, it felt so good last time. I don't think I've ever been as happy. But we should crack on, just in case the builders arrive early and turf us off. You mean, I'm not supposed to be here? No, oh, relax, Adam. I bet no one even notices you. Oh, God. He's trespassing. That's just beautiful. All right, uh, take the detector. So that's it. interesting. Okay, what the hell? Are you gonna let me work? Draw a map for each field. There's more than one. Okay, I believe the mark locations where I found something. Oh, sorry, so you like some mark locations? There you go. And the handy. Damn, it was a little quick. All right. Press M for map. That's all that matters. Oh, all right. So actually, she marks it down in there. Okay, gotcha. So that's not handy. All right, back to work. My God, I heard a. <laughs> it's a hot air balloon right up there. That's a nice little touch. There's that little area there on the left hand side. It looked like someone was digging something up. See? You guys hear it? Oh, 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 oh. There we go. 
All right, excellent. Let's dig this baby up here. Dig. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Oh, a locket. Somebody's face in there. You got a sweetheart, or maybe even sometimes your kids in there. Doesn't really say, does it? I'm sure, it's valuable for somebody. There you go. First bit of jewelry. It doesn't look mm. great. What do you think? Come on, Beth. Type. Mm. To zoom into photo. Hold on. Looks like half a sweetheart locket. Not precious. Nah, sorry. Just some cheap metal. And it's broken. Literally a broken heart. Mm. Speaking of broken hearts... Uh, yeah, we'll actually go down here. Did you and Jake split? Wow, dive right in, why don't you? Mm -hmm. Sorry, it's just strange seeing you without him. He's gone away with his annoying rugby friends for a few days. That's all, I'll be back soon. Maybe you should text him. Let him know he's missing out on all this fun, right? Maybe. And he is missing out. He's got no idea how much he's going to miss out on. Whoa. That's it working okay? I think so. Why? Oh, it's my old one. The battery can be a bit temperamental. Your old one? You mean I've got your cast off? <laughs> yeah, afraid so. Okay. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. I am still going to find more than you. Uh, you seem to forget I'm a pro. You might have a flashy detector, but I have got a lucky one. You found the earring with this one, right? <laughs> I did. But that wasn't anything to do with the detector, just me and my hard work. Well, I guess whoever finds the most this week wins. <laughs> I like your ambition. Maybe we'll make a truffle pig of you yet. <laughs> what? The, a, a, a truffle pig? Oh, blame Dad. He started calling me a truffle pig because I could sniff treasure through all the mud. Oh, I loved that nickname. It became our gang name too. Me, Claire, Sally, Jen. We were the truffle pigs. Our detectors too. That's truffle pig one you're holding. You named your metal detector truffle pig. Oh, no, hold on. I'm beeping. What? Did you find something else? Oh, that's false alarm. It was my crazy person detector going off because it overheard you calling your detector truffle pig. Oh, oh. funny. Anyway, you already knew I was crazy. I think that's why you agreed to come here. Lured to an isolated farm by a crazy woman. <laughs> and only one of them will leave. <laughs> I'm sure one of the truffle pig t-shirts Dad had made for us is still in my attic. I should dig it out. I hope you're not expecting me to be seen in one of those. Mm, <laughs> no, I think you're safe on that count. All right, sorry we missed a little bit there in the front. There was just like one thing which is asking about. I just stopped for a second to see the map. I actually pulled it out just to see this, and I tried to press M, but she didn't let me. I want to see whether or not I went around the whole edge here. I want to see whether or not we're in the right spot. I think we're gonna start off from here. Nope, nope. I always get that first beep, and I'm like, oh. What's that? Something flying over us? Okay, we're going near that rock. Hopefully we'll find one more thing before... Oh. Want a break for lunch? Your detector must almost be out of juice. We can recharge it. Uh, not yet. Uh, let's carry on for a little while. Okay. Let's see how long that thing lasts. Yeah, let's, let's go for a tiny bit more. Let's see whether I can find something else here. I don't want to end it that quick. I mean, I like to go out and do some work and get it done properly. We don't want to half-ass work here. All right. It's actually a very interesting little story. Very cute. The acting is really good. The girl really kind of sounds like Slate Bear. I don't know if you realize that or not. Not just because the accent, also the same tone of voice almost. Oh, here we go. Let's touch that. There we go. Perfect. We did find something that was right next to me beforehand. Let's see if we can dig this up and get something really good so we can go back and have lunch and look like an all-star. What hell is that? Oh, wow. Okay. 
That's a, with a light there. I'm not sure if we get points for that or. Oh, but she is for her foot, isn't it? What the hell is it? Oh, a tractor pedal. That makes sense. Warning, battery's dead. That scared the crap out of me. Okay, it looks like my battery finally died. Right, let's break for lunch. See you at the car. Last one back smells. This car is going to be so muddy by the end of the week. And try not to get crumbs everywhere. Wow, you really love your car, don't you? Uh-huh. So, how was your first morning of detecting? All right, I guess brilliant, great, great. Yeah, brilliant went out. It's fun, and I'm loving being outside. Thanks for inviting me. No worries. The golden treasure we'll find will be a nice bonus. <laughs> Are we going to pretend nothing's happened? What? It's been so long, and you're just pretending we've never been apart, that nothing's wrong. Um, okay. Well... How's life been since we last saw one another? Shouldn't I be asking you questions? Like, why am I even here? And how come you're not at work? Your job always seemed to come before everything else. You were obsessed with it. I was. I, I am. But... But... I've been working like crazy lately. I thought I'd see how Mudalot survives without me. If you insist. Mudalot. Such a silly name. <laughs> Mum asked me what I liked, and I said, I like mud. A lot. <laughs> oh, I wish she was still here to see what she created. Her little outdoor equipment company. It's an empire now. We're the biggest employer in the valley, you know. Stanning would die on its ass without mud a lot. And when Dad retires, it's going to become your empire? Yep. Well, Dad'll probably put me in charge. I mean... I'm the eldest, arguably the smartest. The most modest Mudderlot sister. Absolutely. Definitely the best at tree climbing. <laughs> you remembered. But yes, all of those things. Perfect CEO material. It must be mine, right? And you're sure about that? As good as. I know Dad's been impressed, always saying how proud he is. So, yeah, I'm sure that's been his plan. But you've never discussed it. What if you're wrong? <laughs> I've been there longer than Lucy. It wouldn't make sense not to. And your dad agrees? OK, dad hasn't said out loud, but it's always been the plan that I take over. You know, I thought we had plans once. We were a team. Till you ditched me. Forgot all about me. That's not fair, Adam. Or true. I never forgot about you. I never wanted you to go. I... I had to. Well, I'm here now. But you still haven't said why. Are we ever going to discuss it? Why I'm really here? We're here to find that earring. Not sit here eating sandwiches and Jaffa cakes all day. We should be fully charged again now. Come on, back to it. Here we go. Space, there we go, let's do this. Okay, we have a car. Okay, a toy car. That could be worth a lot, but it, usually you'd have to have it in pristine condition. Yeah, that's not going to happen. This one's done for. Huh. That's just a decent price. Nice find. Sadly, they're only valuable if they're pristine hmm. and boxed. A fancier model of car would help too. But you're definitely getting the hang of this. Speaking of fancy cars, I noticed yours is a bit flash. Totally you. Which is totally you. What do you mean? You never drive further than mud a lot. It takes two minutes, but you just had to have the flashiest car in the village. Hey, I work like crazy. <laughs> I'm allowed to treat myself. Of I course. worked hard for that car. 
Treat yourself it is a box that you only use to drag yourself from home to work. One day I will go on a road trip. You can come too, but I might make you catch the bus for being mean. Fine by me. Anyway, I like the buses. <laughs> Being with other people, watching the world go by. <laughs> yeah? And what about the weirdo you always get on buses? Chatting away to themselves? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait! You are the weirdo! Oh, you think I'm the weirdo? Holy sarcastic little bum puts them. Alright. <laughs> what the hell? I mean, I, I'm sarcastically at it. We know it's all of the jokes, but... Some people cannot react very well if someone say that to them. You know, trying to lean, line yourself up here, go right here. Hopefully, this is uh, the end of this field. It'd be nice if it actually marked on the map exactly, not just where you picked up the stuff, but where we actually lined up to you. Oh, oh. Beautiful. Let this be a good one, please. So far, we found trash. Maybe the coin is worth something. I don't know. Oh, bottle cap for cola. Star, star. Yeah, orange cola. Orange crush. All right, take a photo. Well, okay, well, somebody, actually, I know somebody who actually collects these, but they'd be in really good condition. Farming thirsty work. There we go. Let's do this. Back enough, she didn't have to respond back with that one, too. So we get a little bit of work done here, too. We have this little path in front of here, too, we haven't done. It looks like here has been dug up at one point, or at least some extra ground we have to worry about. Some... Oh. Okay. Wow, that's pretty close. Come on. Oh, a peg. <laughs> yeah, it's a tent peg. We're going to talk? Yeah, looks like it. It's years since I've been camping. But you, at one point, it seemed like you lived in a tent. <laughs> I pretty much did when I was a kid. I'm just so busy now. I can't remember the last time. I should. Just jump in the car and find somewhere nice to pitch up. With Jake? It'd be cosy. Just the two of you. Far away from work and the stress. I guess I've just got into the habit of working. Like, all the time. Weekends are... well, they're not really weekends. But it's all part of growing up. Being an adult, I guess. Says who? The Beth I used to know would take being in a field over being sat at a desk any day. Yeah? That Beth used to like banana sandwiches or the smell of bonfires on her clothes. <laughs> Face it, we've moved on. I like banana sandwiches still. Just me, peanut butter banana. Mmm, tasty. Now we'll continue this route and if we need to, we'll just go through here. There's no actual meter for batteries or anything, so I don't know when it happens. Let's take this off for one second here. Yeah, that's a pretty good little route we've taken right across here. This has done us really well. Nothing in that area. Oh, here we go, right in front of us. Let's move to the right. Center. Nice. Let's do it. Take a little heart up. What is this? I like looking for treasure. I would love to do this. Some frame for those pots and stuff, I guess. Plants? For shelving? Yeah, it looks for shelving. Yeah, shelf bracket. There we go. Okay, dude. You have to solar center everything here? I mean, a shelf bracket, I don't think it's worth anything. Okay. We have another one right here. Good stuff. Come on, baby. Let this be the big treasure of all treasures. We need this. Hair clip? 
I think it is. Yep. Again, not valuable. A cheeky gear. It's old. 1950s, perhaps? Maybe it fell off as a couple were having a moment of passion. Ugh. Surrounded by cows. Yep. You have got a strange idea of romance, Beth. <laughs> and speaking of hair, I almost didn't recognise you this morning. Were you expecting me to still have those ponytails? Actually, I've just had it restyled. What do you think? Uh, it's not for me. Oh, God, it's really trying yeah, nice. I like it. I mean, I'm no expert, but it suits you. Thanks. I was getting a bit bored with old me. So I just had it caught on a whim. Old you? I just felt like I needed to, I don't know, become something else. I'm not sure a new haircut can do that, but it looks great. I guess I look a bit different now too. You look exactly how I imagined you would. Okay, that's enough hair chat. Go and find me something. Ideally, something more exciting than a hair clip. Yeah, seriously, long conversation over a hair clip. All right, there you go. Let's see if we can find anything on this fence line here. At least pretty close to it. Try to get us all through now. So far, we found a pretty decent amount of stuff, but they're all a bunch of junk, and that's part of metal detecting, isn't it? Oh, we're right up here. Did I just pass through here? Yeah, I passed right through here, didn't I? Maybe I must have missed it. It's all good. All right. Maybe I overlooked it by mistake, just missed it. What do we have? We have... Oh. Measuring tape, right? Is that it? Or just... No? Yeah, it's measuring tape. There you go. Okay. Just a foot away. Where it was? There you go. Right, we're doing pretty good at this. All right, cool. The big one. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, take another picture of... Uh, punk Roxy. <laughs> you joking or not? Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's a nappy pin. For keeping nappies in place. Before all these disposable, elasticated nappies, they used to pin them. Who'd change a nappy in a field? The farmer and his wife. Mrs. Hobbs. Oh, remember when she vanished? The baby, too. I remember all the mums gossiping about it. After that, Farmer Hobbs more or less lived like a recluse. Where did she go? No one knows. I mean, there were rumours. The school swirled with theories. A woman and her kids vanish, and we're just brushing it off as rumours and gossip. Oh, we were kids with overactive imaginations. It was probably just your regular run-of-the-mill divorce. Breakups happen all the time, but <laughs> people love to gossip and speculate. No, yep, they do. That's definitely something they like. I don't like that too much. I prefer I prefer facts and simplistic life. I don't like it too much. Oh. Ready to wrap up for the day? Yep. Sure. Uh, you know what? Let's uh. Oh, can we detect just a bit longer? So the okay. weather's so great. It would be a shame not to. I suppose so. For a short while, at least. There we go. I mean, I, I don't want to get in a fight with her. But I, I just want to know if I can get a little more here. Especially this area here. I, we haven't hit it up, so I'm curious. Oh, there you go. See? Yes. This is going to be it. The big one. The one we've been looking for. Come on. That'd be something good for frick's sake. Another coin. Ooh, this one looks really old. I think it looks older than the other one. Wow. That looks pretty darn old. Pretty darn old. Come on, Beth. You can do it. They're coming. Wow, I thought that was like ancient. It looked ancient, didn't it? We've covered a lot of ground today. Well done. Oh, I've loved having you here. Can't hang around, though. Got to check out a venue for the wedding reception. The wedding? Oh, I thought... What, you asking me back here, Jake being away, is it still going ahead? <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, of course. Why wouldn't it? Jake's never been around when it comes to wedding stuff, has he? Doesn't mean anything. And you know what I'm like. Can't wait for him to make his mind up. And wedding planning really isn't his thing. Still can't believe you're getting married. Like I said, I'm getting on with life. Nothing and no one is going to stop me. Come on, I'll meet you back at the car. Morning. Different fields today. We'll try somewhere new each day. Cover as much ground as possible. It's all going to be down to luck anyway. Luck? No, it's all about planning and hard work. <laughs> and will I see a bit more of you today? Don't worry, I'll be close by. And we'll be talking a lot. Oh, and keep an eye out for a bangle. Mrs Havers from the post office collared me, asking what I was up to. Turns out she lost a bangle here years ago. Is there a reward? Don't know. She got a bit teary-eyed talking about it. Her husband bought her it. Anyway, I doubt we'll find it. Happy hunting. Speak soon. That's really cool. Well, I mean, who cares about your You want to find it and help out somebody. That's freaking awesome. At least you get the time to go outside and enjoy yourself in the field. Not as if it's really legal what we're doing. But if you guys are enjoying this, guys and girls, make sure you like button, get it calm fields, and we can maybe continue for a second part and such. Oh, it's up to you. A really great story. If you want to pick it up for yourself, though, the link will be in the description field. And, of course, uh, yeah, you guys can pick it up yourself on Steam. It is available currently. So thank you all for being here again. You guys are the best. This game edge. And I'll catch you guys. On the flip side.